It is my joy reaching out to us this wonderful day. My name is Kyle Nathaniel Tomome. We are reaching out to us this beautiful Tuesday morning. Today is second Tuesday in the month of July. And what a great day. What a privilege. I pray for you that today will be a great day in your life. As you knock, it will be open unto you. As you seek, you will find that which is giving, that which is making you to cry, it shall be converted to testimony. In the name of Jesus, you will not die, but live to declare the counsel of God. That which you are looking for, you will get it. It is well with you. You are blessed and highly favored. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now, we have been talking about the blessings of the seventh month the blessings of the seventh month and we took our text from the book of genesis chapter 2 1 to 3 genesis chapter 2 1 to 3 if you read the verse 1 and verse 2 it makes us to know that the heaven and the earth were finished and verse 2 make us to know that god ended his work on the seventh day and we are made to understand that that means anointing and grace anointing and grace for to start and to finish. That is what it means. And we said on that this point, there are four categories of people. We said number one are people that have not started anything at all. Number two are the people that start but they never finish. Number three are the people that started and they finish. We'll be talking about the number four today and the number four is very proud. Now is very profound. The number four is very profound. Now listen to me. Number four category of people under this point are the people that start, they finish, and they are able to enjoy the works of their hand. They are able to enjoy their labor. Now listen to me. I used to think that all we need to pray for is to start and to finish. But the Holy Spirit opened my eyes and make me to know that is beyond that. The Holy Spirit makes me to know that it is possible to start and finish and you may not enjoy the labor of your hand. You may not. You may not. That is why this number four, number four, uh, number four, uh, number four point is very, very important. Starting, finishing, and enjoying the work of your hand. That is why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, if you read the book of Isaiah 65 from verse 21, it says, and they shall build houses and inhabit them. That is why the Bible is saying it. So which means you can build houses and you are not inhabiting you are not inhabiting it there are people that build houses and they didn't in, inhabit them he said they shall plant vineyard and eat the fruit of them that is why the bible that is why isaiah is prophesying here because there are people that plant vineyard they labor they started it they finish it but they did not eat their off some people started building houses they finish it they did not live there that is why isaiah said it that is why isaiah said it so now this number four is what we are using to pray today. I am sent to you to pray for you that in the name of Jesus, everything you have started and you have finished, you will enjoy them. You will enjoy the labor of your work. Ah, Leada, I say you will enjoy the labor of your work. You will enjoy your labor. You will you will enjoy your labor. Isaiah went ahead to say in that same book of Isaiah, verse twenty-two, he said they shall not build and another inhabit. Can you say that word? So it's possible to build and it's another that inhabit it. He said they shall not plant and another eat. It's possible to plant and another is eating. You know what it means to plant? It means you start, you finish, but you did not eat. Is another eating. I, I forbid it for you. I pray for you today. Power to start, power to finish, and power to enjoy the labor of your hand. To enjoy the, receive it in the name of Jesus. Now, this is what we are using to pray today, sir. It is not enough to start. It is not enough to finish. You must pray the Lord help me to enjoy the labor of my hand. That is what we are using to pray. And as you pray that prayer, I say, God, 
I see God answering you by fire. Don't forget, as you pray that prayer, pray with Isaiah 65, 21 to 20, 23. And as you pray that prayer, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. If you are not born again, pray this prayer with with me lord jesus come into my heart be my lord be my savior with my heart i believe and with my mouth i confess thank you for saving me in jesus name we have prayed now we have prayed our prayer help us to share this message let it go viral don't keep it to yourself and don't forget our bible reading we must read the bible through this year be faithful and be committed to it and the lord will bless you see you tomorrow by the grace